very very good uh, and for the rage build that was very very important to do okay so um, next up we'll do 10 clash of minds which is going pretty fast I don't really look at what I'm attacking here I'm more more doing it for um, for for the devotion or hot ev uh, or the hot event rewards because most of the time you lose anyways if, if you win one or if you win two it, it doesn't really matter because it's a kind of a, a staircase system so there's you all you very quickly reach oh I, I won this one okay so you very quickly reach the next person who you cannot beat and I guess the only person who can um, the only people who can do 10 wins per day are the top people because everybody else is of course below them so so there you go but for me it's usually nine losses one win something like that maybe two wins but mostly it's losses and that's okay that's how it's supposed to be you still get of course all these rewards so it's definitely not a waste the good thing is of course if you're VIP you can get this done really quickly like I'm doing now and, and in, in just like super fast you can get your 10 attempts done for free players you, you gotta do 3 and then you gotta wait uh, but again it's not a major issue if you, you can do 3 and then you can do other stuff and while you do other stuff uh, like 10 minutes or 14 minutes um, is finished and you can do that again um, now next up we're gonna do um, what we're gonna dark abyss and here I've been more and more successful um, getting to a higher level so um, yesterday I got to 77 so we're gonna claim rewards for that uh, but I'm, I'm nearing higher and higher um, once I did more than 80 so I'm really looking forward to completing nightmare so let's do that together so uh, just in, in the interest of um, you can you can do this in, in one of my previous videos I was explaining uh, the logic on how to do this more efficiently um, by, by studying your opponents and knowing which one you can beat and which one uh, you cannot and that way of course you can achieve better results but um, I also like comfort a little bit so I'm not in a rush um, so what I, I'm doing lately is more just clicking on uh, the three stars and getting as high as I can get but um, that's also because I, can, I have uh, diamonds to spend so I don't really uh, I don't even need so much to rewards from this event uh, it just is just extra so um, but if, if you want to make sure that you get the most out of it uh, the most rewards well, definitely you need to do like I explained in one of my previous videos uh, by studying your opponents and um, hitting the ones that you can win for sure because not only you get these rewards but you also um, the levels are important because the ranking is based on level so here you see I lost already at stage 60 which is highly unusual because um, as I said I reach usually to, to stage um, eight, uh, close to 80 so um, that way I lose a bunch of rewards so um, it, that's what happens if you don't pay attention and do like I just did right now so but if you are short in time which I, I often am uh, then that's the, it's better to do like that than not to do it at all so um, but always click it because it's relatively fast and um, you, you can um, kind of over time collect resources like I have here um, a thousand nightmare runes and, and, and 395 of these slayer marks and over time you, you get a whole bunch of resources and you can of course spend them in the shop to get whatever you need so even if you're short on time just do like I did one click collect the yesterday's reward and then uh, quickly click on uh, three star three star or whatever uh, finish it up fast and, and that's better than of course not doing it at all so um, next up um, 
I'm gonna click just for uh, the blitz rewards for the totems because the rest um, I don't want to bore you guys with uh, it's kind of a little bit monotonous again but um, the, what I want to do now is I want to get um, the where did the cards go okay there's some kind of problem basically the cards disappeared and I was pretty sure that they're supposed to be still active today um, but basically they're gone so I can't um, I can't get the the here the crest to upgrade the hero luckily of course I did pick up the, um, the rewards it just that I can't um, pick up the crest so we won't be able to do the the hero upgrade actually until the next card event which is kind of sad but I was late with it I suppose but normally I looked at the time and it was supposed to go until the end of today so I don't know if there was a technical issue or something but basically um, the cards are not visible for me to click on so the same thing actually happened with the bunny event so I didn't pick up any rewards for that so um, definitely be careful with those timings and pick up the rewards as fast as possible so that you don't uh, lose anything but we'll, what we'll do then instead now is will of luck and then I'll just I'll have to wait for the next card events for um, or for the next house of cards uh, to pick up my hero's crest and it's not a huge loss as well because um, I might be able to get a really good reward with um, which costs uh, more of those Joker L cards. So um, for now we're gonna try out the Wheel of Luck here. Um, it, you can pick up also rewards for 120 points and um, per day. So if you can do 120 points, it's better to do that. Um, that way you can also pick up the super prizes, not only the basic prizes. Um, yesterday I missed the the whole day and so I, I don't have it but the, in the first day I did the 120 now this event also runs um, from 6 to 8 so actually not so long I thought it'll be longer um, which means that today it is actually ending so I might not want to spend here so let's look at consecutive rank and I have 120 points and you need 200 to rank so that's something we can try to do is get 200 points to rank and pick up the serve stones um, al alternatively we can try to get 800 points and get up uh, get these um, rewards which is a level 25 hero mark and the elvish spring so let's check if I actually have the elvish spring Let's see, I don't think I have it. That looks like it could be, no. Let's go clothing, bling. Now, what I didn't know is that not all the clothing is visible in, in the bling, which is really weird um, because it makes sense that they put everything, but I guess they didn't. And I think the blink section definitely needs an upgrade. Um, so I, I, I miss a lot of stuff. There it is, the Elvis Spring. I definitely don't have it. It's it's in this section. I don't have anything in that section. And that's a thousand agility um, bonus set bonus. I don't know if you already get the set bonus with one item. Or you need to find the other two but anyways for the wheel of luck um, that is possible to get in the consecutive rankings if you get 800 points the trouble is of course it is quite difficult and expensive to um, to get points in the wheel of luck and you got the standard wheel of luck and the turbo wheel of luck usually I spin the turbo one um, basically this one costs one and this one costs five vouchers and in the store you got the incinerators which I don't have this one so that's something to get but of course you need 200 so um, that's gonna cost a lot of uh, points to to get 200 of these at that price so what I was looking more for here was the um, Angelina's shard 
because for 800 I could get um, Angelina. Other stuff for me is not interesting because my gems are better than 5, my chirp stones are better than that. Um, what is good is of course the magic socketing rod but uh, also the price I feel like it's a lot or it's difficult to get it. Gem enhancement stones are um, better for the price. The seeds I'm not so much interested in. But I think for me, uh, and I think the incinerator shard I can get possibly cheaper somewhere else in some other event. So for me, I think that the, the thing that I would want more here is the Angelinus um, icon shard. Um, but getting these points is a little bit difficult. And given that the event is finishing today, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because I really like getting super prizes and the difference between 128 and 800 is too much so I think um, we let me see also for 120 you get okay so what we'll do is we'll do 120 points and decide from there because for 120 points I'll be able to get um, the top price for for the today's rank for which is 200 element, element crystals which is not huge but um what is good is a dragon dragon soul experience packs so those are good and then um that will also qualify me for uh the minimum uh, requirement for the rank for collecting 300 seraph stones so that's already good so uh we can try to do that and uh, we'll spin the turbo wheel for this and will need to spin it basically 120 times which means I need a hundred more vouchers but the more you spend the more uh, you can also recover some so for example here uh, I have I'm at 120 so at 300 you get 30 back so in fact this is I should do um, yeah I should do 180 because if I do 180 I get 30 back that's 150 Okay, so let's go to buy, or actually let's pick up from hot events because I might be able to pick up some here. There's two here. Today's gift. Let's see. Here we can pick up two more here. We can pick up... Oh, how come gemology is not there? Okay, I didn't buy the cards. So let's do that as well that I picked up fishing not yet and okay so that's collected um, I'm gonna do the 10 diamonds for alchemy uh, like I explained before um, to get 750,000 gold from the hot events and I'm gonna activate um, this the common bait fishing these are always fun we can get a little helper to, to help with this, but it's also not, not entirely difficult to do it yourself. Turtles are cool. Octopus. Who is missing? This one, oh no, that's it. Okay. So that's fishing. Much faster than the little helper that <laughs> also. And, um... I also wanted to get some gemology energy going. So let's go to other. For the gemology energy, it's good to go to other. Uh, it's easier to find the cards if you have a lot of stuff in the bag. We'll use the 50 energy and we'll use another 60 energy here and we'll use say another 10 here. Just because I we got tycoon running, so I'm going to try to get 10,000 gemology points. So, but I'm um, not gonna bother to do that myself. We'll have little helper work on this. It'll take her some time. So there, it starts counting down to seven, to six, and so forth. And what we'll do is we'll collect the alchemy, seven hundred fifty thousand gold. And for now, that's it. But then. Um, I'll collect the gemology later and in the tycoon you can see that in the gems section let's go to total and you see um, I have 
well at least on my server high uh, pretty good score at rank 4 for uh, spending a lot of those gemology energies and getting um, a lot of gems or gemology points uh, but you see Rovan is a lot higher I'm at 4000 Mirain is at 4000 Logowars at 5000 but Rovan it seems has collected a ton of cards over time and has used them all now is more than double of um, everybody else so that's getting getting Rovan a lot of tycoon points and that of course adds up in the total so if we look at that you see Rovan is number three and 13,000 or 14,000 points of the 70 is coming purely from gemology I'm here at close to 100 and we got rain uh, so far going for number one um, I will try to pass rain um, but we'll see if I can manage um, of course the difference is pretty big I think be between rank 1 and 2 uh, basically 2 and 3 is the same uh, and the difference between 1 and 2 is pretty big because you get 3 tycoon certificates versus 1 and you get Zeus sword uh, which is the upgraded version um, which is quite nice still 16% attack from target you get Achilles' boots uh, so basically the upgraded version of both of the items that's already a huge uh, benefit versus rank 2 so that's something I have to try to do and one part of it is doing this gemology and I don't mind to spend all of my uh, cards um, but I try to divide them in the days that we have the tycoon for so that I can get points every day um, with trying of course to complete all of them by the end of the tycoon so um, let's go back to Will of Luck. Now got 28 here. We'll we'll first go with um, where's the buy button? We'll first go with 120, just um, wh which is 92. That's 4,600 diamonds, and we're gonna turbo spin this. Years, Born of Prosperity chest, Seraph Stone, Seraphs, Crystal, level 5, more Seraphs, 6 Fusion Gem, Crystals, of course with the Turbo Spins it finishes faster. The reserves, oh that must be expensive, spin 100, I don't think I've done that, I should have done spin 10, but one by one is fun, at least you can see what you're getting, otherwise when you spin 10 uh, the message is, goes really fast. Uh, and then you don't see what you're what you're getting and I like to see it so we got serif stones and crystals of course what I've seen so far and I'll publish that on my website I have uh, more st statistics for this uh, turbo spin um, is that of course you get more of these three, three at the bottom alright so that was 120 so if we check for today's rank, I got uh, it, one first because nobody is doing it. Um, because I think this event is also a little bit outdated and the rewards are not proportional to other events. But anyways, 120 uh, is what you need to get the super prize on the daily. So I'll get this Dragon Soul experience packs. Of course, in addition to the items that I just picked up. And then in the consecutive rank, um, that's enough for to rank me to get the 300 Seraph Stones. Um, and what I was saying before is in the store of, no, where was that window? Oh, in the point prices here, um, current points 240. And if I, if I kick that up to 300, I can get 30 back. So in fact, if I buy a 60, I get 30 back, um, which is not good which is not bad at all it basically you get 50 percent return and then at 500 points you get 40 back 
and and that way you can basically try to reach the 800 points needed but I think I can um, perhaps purchase that um, where is it uh, I think I might be able to purchase the elvish spring or, or the snow wings just directly with diamonds and and that could be uh, let's say on a group buy or something like that and that way it might even be cheaper than uh, trying to get 800 points here so I think that's good enough for now the little worker is finishing gemology but she got stuck so we're gonna tell her to work on it sometimes the little helper gets stuck you have to of course watch watch for that so that um, yeah to, to get her going again and then as she finishes um, if she can get to the next chest level uh, it'll say here in red color for which chest or which points you managed to get and I, I like to see that but if you didn't do enough uh, energy if you didn't give enough energy if you didn't do enough and you don't qualify for picking up a chest then she will not show that information so um, that that's an interesting kind of tip for you guys So she's almost done. What I'll try to do is reach 10k and while she's finishing that what we can do is we did have uh, before here the event for 10,000 uh, gemology points so we can try to see if we have that. Also for the tycoon be mindful of these uh, levels because these rewards are very nice for example 60 magic socketing rods are quite expensive if you think about it and you can get that if you reach 120,000 tycoon points I'm not so far away from that um, for the certificates which you can get in the tycoon these are some of the rewards that you can get so for three certificates for five you get um, Elena uh, which you can't because at rank three uh, at rank one it'll get you three but of course you can get them from other places as well um, but for three you can get the ruthless leopard uh, Demeter's icon Polly's icon Polly I have but Demeter I don't for example um, but also nice is a level 10 dodge and block jam or a level 11 dodge jam for one so three level 11 gems are possible so that's interesting here we can pick up the 50 energy card and let's see there is the yeah we do have it actually so we get additional gem enhancement stones and uh, this is the 10,000 level that I tried to reach so apparently all the energy that I poured in today was not enough it's 6,000 so um, what, what the way you can see is that um, when she does, when, when the little helper does uh, her, her thing with gemology, a lot of the times it's 10 points, uh, but sometimes it's 20 or 40 or 50. So what you can try to do is count with an average of 20 points per energy. 1000 um, energy points at 20, that means 200 energy w will be needed. So that's... Um, that's what I'll have to kind of pay. So what, what that'll be is 50 energy. And then using bulk. And then I'll need 150 which is 15 of these. And that's another 200. So we're going to get a little helper to do that. And I'll pause the video and let her finish. Okay, she is almost done. Still 50 energy more to go. So what we'll do in the meantime is we'll open up the, uh, whatever bags we got. Got the the 500x packs. Those are I think from the from that wheel of luck. We'll open all the other chests as well, and also for people who were asking to see the stuff in my bags, that's all kind of stuff items I have in the bags. It's really a lot of items. I don't really pay attention to what they are even are or what I have or what I don't have. It's just too much. 
and what I that's what I saw also in this game um, compared to other games is you somehow end up having a ton of items um, in in the bags you very quickly start having uh, many pages uh, of items and then you lose kind of uh, a sense of what what it is that you actually have so And opening up the chest is rather annoying. What I would love to have is a button um, open all chests, basically. Because I don't see the point of manually doing that um, every single day, but yeah. Anyways, for now the uh, little helper has finished, so we can go and check. And her report says that we actually passed to 11,770 points. She was able to collect um, the, the chest for, for this reward, which is good. And also, um, which is, let's see, for 10k, another 100 um, gem enhancement stones, level 4 gems. And then on top of that, we can go to this hot event and pick up another 100 synth scrolls, 150 gem enhancement bags, darlings and more of those a uh, lot of vouchers now i can try to push towards 20k um or i can try to do 10k again tomorrow and basically that seems it seems that it's better to do 10k tomorrow because well 150 150 makes 300 and so that's not different uh synth scrolls 100 and 100 is 200 so that's not different as well you only get a hundred extra darlic um, but the lot of vouchers are not double. You only get two more. So what's better? Um, 100 Darlic or two additional um, lot of vouchers and basically that's the same because 100 Darlic is like 100 diamonds and lot of vouchers two of them are 100 diamonds. So um, because there's no difference between the reward levels, I'd prefer to do another 10k tomorrow rather than do 20k uh, today. So, but that all should add up to my tycoon score. So, uh, I don't it's probably not yet visible. My point six now it is visible. So, we can see uh, my points now 6000, bringing me up to number two, and I was number four. So, that was already that's already a big uh, improvement uh, for the tycoon score, and I might have passed a total. Uh, the total for 100k yeah, I passed now 104 now because the cards disappeared um, which is something I wasn't planning for I was actually planning to get a lot of resources from the house of cards now those disappeared making my life more difficult for the tycoon but it's not lost because uh, the cards don't get lost so uh, it's just gonna give me a bonus start for the next round of house of cards because I'll have a ton of unused points and unused cards so for the next tycoon um, that that'll be useful perhaps so it's not a loss it's just it was an unfortunate thing because I also wanted to record an upgrade of uh, of a hero and I was planning to upgrade either the light envoy or the mountain god um, so basically the messenger of death or son of Odin and I wasn't sure between the two and we were gonna check out uh, what's the improvement for each and then pick one but the darn thing disappeared so I can't do that right now um, let's see other things that were useful for me is I kind of rediscovered the emblem and um, upgraded it to level 9 which was a big improvement I think I was at level 4 or something like that so I had a big increase in stats from emblems and um, that largely came from the guild shop so if we go to guilds guild shop um, I didn't realize but I had more than I had close to 30,000 honor badges so um, and I just didn't re realize that it. it was collecting over time and I didn't ever look into here so uh, I ended up buying a ton of emblem shards so um, for the next level here I'll need 30,000 experience so what you do is you divide that by 10 so that will mean 3,000 emblem shards so for 3,000 emblem shards um, I, I will need like a lot more than 10k honors so 
um, so I can't do that right now but for you check out uh, for your character uh, what um, if you have honor badges and if you can buy sufficient emblem shards to increase your level here uh, and do that because that will directly increase your stats um, let's see other thing that I did I, I already mentioned the uh, enhancements for the offensive power and I really suggest that you guys uh, go also for offensive power because you can earn a lot more money uh, from uh, events like world boss or gauntlet so prioritize attack first and also prioritize survival uh, from things like genesis mail so when you die you get resurrected immediately or if you have mage heroes they also have that um, in dragon soul uh, they have this skill which is let's switch to mage hero which is the phoenix nirvana which also gives you a chance to be resurrected when you die Another thing that can help you resurrect is um, is the ages. For the final one, um, you get a skill which um, which gives you a chance here um, to respawn uh, a hero. Uh, for now, I'm going with the Aquarius because it's making you completely invulnerable to two attacks at a 40% chance on. A level 4 purple so um, for now I'm experimenting with this but I've seen a lot of people successfully use the Pisces as well um, the effect is more powerful for Pisces uh, but it happens less frequently so you see for example 25% chance versus 35-40% chance so it's just a question of uh, risk taking basically but I do like Pisces um, also so and I'm not sure which one I'll go for for now I've upgraded all the um, ages um, to level 3 blue and um, just the Aquarius I've brought it up to level 4 purple and um, I'm saving up shards now I have um, close to 7000 uh, because I'm coming close to level 70 and I was told that I will need a lot of these shards so I'm, I'm gathering them for my level 70 and I think I covered all the different aspects today so we're gonna stop here it's already long enough um, which is more than an hour of recording so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'm only disappointed that I couldn't do the uh, hero upgrade today with you guys. Um, I was really looking forward to that, but somehow the house of cards icon disappeared. Probably I messed up or miscalculated on the time or the date. Um, but I was pretty sure it was going until 23.59 um, of the 8th of April. But for some reason it finished on the 7th of April. Uh, so maybe some mistake on my side, but anyways, um, no no loss. We'll we'll do that on the next house of cards together. Um, another th thing to mention is my buffs are disappearing. So uh, <laughs> that's because the time is running out. Uh, so you gotta remember to go back um, to worship and um, basically extend the durations um, all the time. Uh, with the hearts but of course if you're not doing something extraordinary uh, don't waste your hearts uh, because um, yeah why why waste it only if you're doing some important things like for example um, if you want to try to break through as deep as possible in the eternal spire or if you want to conquer the next level of uh, of the elite battles or something like that uh, then you can buy a lot of hearts and get much more powerful and do that um, so I'm so I'm actually letting them expire and I think the next time I'll purchase them again is on the next gauntlet because uh, that's where, where I make a lot of income and I want to be as strong as possible so I'll buy um, all the physical attacks um, and crits that I can find and then uh, if um, I'll have enough hearts I'll, I'll then buy things to survive um, so that I can do more damage so that's it uh, we can just double check maybe the evolve what I've done so far is um, oh that's something I wanted to show to you guys as well 
um, is the power of covenants and, and um, I also suggest for whatever angels you have to look at what kind of covenants you have for your angels and try to do them. What I had done so far is, as you know, my main hero, uh, my main angel is uh, Raphael, and we got him to level 85. And then um, I had advice from, I think it was Pantheon, uh, who uh, suggested that I switch um, and upgrade another angel to get um, a powerful angel for my guardian. Uh, as a guardian angel for my main hero which was a really good advice because now I'm getting a look at the additional stats I'm getting uh, plus 300,000 HP um, just from the additional sta stats from um, from the guardian angel so then I switched over to upgrading Ser uh, Seraph Seraphim and the reason I did that was because of the covenant uh, because Seraphim makes a covenant with Raphael and that's how I picked him rather than Fortuna or, or, or Isolde uh, is because of the covenant because here um, at level I was already getting this I think from level 30 um, no from actually from the beginning you already get the first one and this one was I think from no this is from level 30 and this is from level 60 then I activated these two by upgrading Seraphim to Majestic and Unearthly, which was awesome. And um, I got these additional stats. So now the last thing I'm missing is for Seraphim to reach level 80. And then I'll activate the last bit of the Covenant of uh, Raphael and Seraphim and get all heroes plus 5000 defense which is not huge but all these stats everything everywhere they all add up so that's why I'm definitely gonna get to level 80 but once Seraphim is level 80 I'm gonna respect the, the covenant levels I'm gonna switch to upgrading something else what I'm not sure what is the next but of course to make covenant with two angels it's much easier than three angels because with three angels you'll have to do three different angel upgrades which is much more difficult so it will not be with Raphael I think because I also don't have Michaela and I don't have Lunaria so um, I'll pick something else um, some other covenant and that possibly could be um, something that can also apply to my other heroes so some angels that I can also use as guardian heroes um, at the same time for for example ideally it would be uh, a duo uh, of Nereida and um, Light Envoy so to, to make my back row stronger um, if I can manage I'll, I'll do a trio to also include Mountain God to help with tanking um, but yeah it's um, it's a difficult decision but of course if you want to make sure the back row survives more then you gotta focus on maybe a duo covenant but there are some cheaper covenants that you can do and that's what I advise for a lower level players for example covenants including Nocturna are really easy so for example if you check her out uh, sorry not Nocturna but Sylvia um, Sylvia does no where was it Prospera so this is the one I did for my alt account Prospera um, darn it I, I'm always picking the wrong one so scratch that Lorelei with Sylvia Prospera and Lorelei which all come from the arena shop um, they very quickly give you um, front row uh, front row HP plus 2200 and then by reaching level 30 you get uh, heroes in the back row attack plus 500 and by reaching level 45 you get deployed angel attack plus 1630 and those are pretty easy levels to achieve and then um, if you check with Marina you got Lorelai Marina and Glacia also for uh, level 30 and level 55 60 you can make this uh, relatively easy covenant so check it out and um, it does take time that's why I'm saying check it out um, and then pick one and then get that to the maximum and then move on to the next one that's what I would suggest okay that is long enough already tired 
<laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching uh, please remember to um, check out the links below the, um, below and subscribe and like uh, the video uh, and the channel share with friends and also help with um, liking our Facebook page uh, all the links are basically in the description below and remember to bookmark dollygames.com uh, that's our main site and then from from there everything is linked off so you can easily find things so that's it you guys thanks for watching and have a very nice day